Hey guys, this video that you're about to see have been made possible by Into the AM. They sent me over this t-shirt and another one and I took this with me to the International Bow Show in Fort Lauderdale 2020. And guess what? This thing are pretty good. They're really nice. They have a bunch of styles that you could choose from. And also, if you use my coupon code alias10, it could save you 10%. This thing are so nice that my wife said that I look hot in them. Is she lying? Probably not. Anyway, she doesn't lie. Like, she's behind the camera right now. She would have said something if, she, if it wasn't the truth. Here's the video. Hey guys, we're right here at the International Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2020. We're covering everything, but we got masks, right? right? Oh yeah, we're but staying Jason, safe. Now, Jason, I know you guys have something new right here for the real anglers out there that now have no more excuses for not having this thing on a giant boat. So that's exactly it, man. Our new 87 inch trolling motor gives those guys in that larger boat, that 30 to 35 foot category, the features to be able to do spot lock uh, and record tracks and so forth in that larger boat. All right, now, now give us a proper walk through this thing. Let's go. All right, let's take a look. They got something special to show us. Like I was walking around here and I saw this. This thing is epic. Come on, Jason, tell us about this. Come so on. this is perfect. There's a lot of interest in the larger trolling motor category now years. Um, that next size trolling motor customer has always looked for that, that 20 to 24 foot boat. But guys now in that 30 to 35 foot center console range wants the features and benefits of what's called spot lock in our iPilot. So we introduced our 87 inch shaft trolling motor to give that customer in that 30 to 35 foot center console the ability to do things like spot lock, hold over your wrecks, ledges, and different offshore structures in that size boat. Having the ability to deploy a trolling motor, press a button and it have you hold within three feet of that given location gives an angler the best advantage possible when out on the water. Um, being able to virtually anchor at a push of a button gives you a lot of advantages. The 87 inch shaft gives you the height or depth required to be able to reach the water line from those higher bows in that 30 to 35 foot center console. Um, price range is going to be in that $3,000 ballpark. Uh, obviously things like batteries and uh, additional uh, mounting features will be additional but again the base price on the trolling motor is $29.99. How many pounds is this one? This is 112 pounds of thrust and it's 36 volts. So you're going to be right, they're really going to depend on the haul of the particular boat. If you notice in some of the videos and marketing material that we have online, a lot of guys in like 30 foot contenders and so forth it's really going to depend on how fast the trolling motor can push that particular boat in the conditions uh, the conditions really are going to play a factor because of the higher sides on the boat and more boat haul in the water on that size vessel uh, the conditions are going to affect it a lot more so if the trolling motor can move that particular boat three or four miles an hour it will hold it in a three or four mile an hour current we were sitting at, uh, we were in a buddy's 30 foot uh, contender the other day. We were sitting at Hallover Inlet uh, in the current, and it was the motor was only running at about, I'd say, 65 to 70 percent uh, and was holding us in the current at the inlet. How many volts is this? 36? 36, correct. And what is the minimum, like, battery wise that you need for it? So, you're definitely going to want to get some big batteries. Obviously, on a larger boat, hopefully, you've got the room for. Uh, a larger group 27 or group 31 size deep cycle battery uh, that's going to give you longer run time think of the group sizes the bigger the group size the larger the gas tank is essentially for that electric trolling motor so definitely go with the largest batteries that you can fit in the space and you'll have hours of use on the water and this is what comes with all the auto well autopilot i'm going for the kayak stuff for, with the, all the iPilot stuff. Some of the iPilot features do include that autopilot like you were talking about. So you have full features to give you the spot lock there like you see on the anchor. You also have the ability to record tracks. If you have a certain uh, area off a, offshore or off a ledge or a wreck or artificial reef, and you want to go in and actually record that area, you can go in and record it through the remote and go back to it at a later date and time. And you could also like a spot lock in a, in a spot and then kind of jump. You can, so that's a great question. Now, the jog feature is probably one of the biggest benefits 
while you're sitting on anchor, you have the ability to move the boat in five foot increments, either forwards, backwards, left, or right. All with the press of a button. You don't, if you wanted to just move over about 15 feet to the left, you can just press the left button three times. When is it gonna be available? It's available now? With the demand right now in the industry, we definitely say contact your local dealer for their availability through a store. Um, there's a long lead times right now, but they are currently available and shipping. Basically, it comes with a quick release bracket. The longer shaft comes with a quick release bracket. You can just pull this pen. If I can do this without tipping the display over, but you can see the bracket that's underneath there that it comes with. Nice! Hey guys, this is Alice breaking in here to tell you if you sign up for the Into the AM T club you could save you could save no you could get your first teacher for free really great to be able to uh, kind of merge those technologies across whether it's the trolling motors which it initially came out in or how it's uh, migrated over to the kayak side with old town and the sportsman's line it's a uh, it's kind of been the best of both worlds for that it is truly a game changer it is man awesome. well perfect alex appreciate talking to you man if there's any other questions we can answer just let us know awesome man thanks for that